Tell me first, Sam, why Evolution? What happened? What was the conversation like when you when you explained to him what you were building, and then what the panel had to do? Well, sure. Now we're doing a flying sports car, so it has that dual use ground and air. And so when we're looking for something on the avionics side or the digital dash side, um, you you know obviously we're trying to start with something that we didn't have to reinvent. So we go with uh, standard avionics, but. But we wanted to do something special that could throw those avionics and the data right dead set in front of the pilot. And to do that as a screen, you actually have to sort of integrate with those known avionics, grab some of that data and put it on the screen for our use. And that was something that you can't go to a big maker for because they're concentrating on their products, right? So we had to find a partner that could come in and do something special for us and then that ended up being market evolution so that was the start of it. Working with Sam is a, a perfect example of what our specialty is. Unusual requirements, to some degree this is all new stuff. We don't even need Sam to know all the requirements up front. What we're able to do, he literally sent us a drawing, that an artist drawing of the instrumentation and the first cut we did we chopped up the drawing and we made it live as a representation. And then from there, we could go back and forth and see, well, this isn't exactly right. You know, little details about when you show different colors that could allow us to go back and forth. And the important thing is that as Sam moves along, he's gonna be able to take those changes and do them in house. He won't even be dependent upon us for those changes going forward. But this is a perfect opportunity. You've got, uh, you know, ground versus air, you've got different kinds of actuations. It's not just dealing with flaps, but wing swings. And again, these are things that would be really challenging to do with a, a stock product where you go to somebody and they say, well, we've got product A and B, so just pick whatever is closest to what you want. We go there and we say, we can make things rapidly exactly what it is that you want. In fact, from the, the time we got the first drawing to when we delivered a working screen was only about a month, we were able to do this pretty quickly. Well, the nice thing about finding a good partner is that you build on each other and each company has strengths and weaknesses. They were able to give us things that we didn't even think of needing. They had developed either in other projects or had in the back of their minds is like, well, this is what I think it could be like and these are the features you'd like to have in there and run it past this and then we would move in and out of that and develop, I would say, even better product than we were thinking of at first. So that's kind of what I like working with another group is they contribute as much more than just what you ask them to contribute. The ability to rapidly go through iterations, try something, instead of trying to envision it all, go implement it and then see if you like it. See how it actually operates. When you make it live, the difference between a static image and a live image where you're either flying a simulator or you're um, even playing back data, you get to look at it and, it and it takes on a whole different ability to be able to evaluate something, especially when you're talking about something that's this dramatic. It's also exciting to be able to see it come into actually being operated in the mock-up. When you see the display on its own at the Evolution booth, it's a little bit hard to envision how that works it almost can look very out of place among other aviation displays, but once you see it in the mock-up, then all of a sudden it feels so much more natural to be able to see how it looks. Our most important role was not to try to tell Sam what he needed, but it was to be able to implement what his vision was and then iterate to make that vision better over time You know, as we moved along through the process. Aero TV is brought to you by Fly for free. Pipistrol's Alpha Electro Trainer and the Pipistrol Taurus Electro Sailplane are true electric airplanes and can be powered by the Pipistrol Solar Trailer. See them in action at pipistrol-usa.com.